All right, our third common beginner question uh, for creating your first blog is, what are the biggest problems with setting up a new blog for a beginner? Uh, the biggest problems that I would say are the incomplete tutorials out there. So a lot of the tutorials are just screenshot tutorials. You'll open up like a blog page and it'll have a screenshot of, you know, where you can register your domain name, how to install WordPress. And then it'll take you to this final photo where you'll see it looks like your blog is installed and it's like, oh wow, you've done it. Your blog is started and everything is good. But unfortunately, that's just the beginning. And if for somebody to leave you with a default WordPress install is pretty shitty. So one of the pitfalls that I see in a lot of the, the blogging tutorials or how to start a blog tutorials, just the industry, just Google it. Look at all these pages. All it is is a bunch of, you know, screenshots and, and an effort to get you to sign up for stuff. And then in my opinion, it sort of leaves you hanging. So a big pitfall is to have somebody, <clears throat> maybe me, <laughs> my tutorials will be complete start to finish. And I'll throw in some bonuses for you too, by the way. But um, that's my goal is to create the best tutorials for, for starting a blog or creating websites anywhere you'll find on the internet. So hopefully I live up to that. If there's any way I can help you, by the way, go over to cleverleverage.com and go to the QOTW page, the question of the week. And if you'd like to see a tutorial or have a question you'd like me to answer next week, let me know. Um, but to get back to the topic, the, um, the other thing is kind of something that I mentioned in an earlier pre-flight question and answer, and that is setting up name servers and DNS entries. So normally, if you were to buy your domain name at GoDaddy, and then you were to buy web hosting at, say, Liquid Web or DigitalOcean or something like that, you have to, number one, it's not going to be instantaneous because the name server propagation that's automatically set when you purchase the domain name is incorrect. If, that does, if that's Greek to you, all that means is that your domain name and your web hosting, it's not synced up. So one is pointing one way, one place, another is pointing another place, and sometimes... <clears throat> You'd have to log into GoDaddy and adjust those settings. And then you'd have to log into your web hosting account and adjust those settings. And sometimes it can take about 48 hours for all that stuff to propagate. And propagate just means to sync up around different web servers and uh, cached uh, versions of your, of your DNS entries around the web. So those are some of the biggest problems that I would see as frustrating for a new blogger. Um, a lot of those can be avoided by following people or using people's tutorials that We'll show you what the site looks like at the end of the video uh, so you know what you're getting yourself into. And anything that's not like a, a generic screenshot tutorial that's just going to say, here you go, you've installed your first WordPress blog, it's the default installation with the hello world post, and then just like not give you any guidance on how to upload plugins, how to update the theme, how to customize those things, how to change the images, what kind of settings matter, and all this kind of stuff. So that's my answer. Um, of course, if you follow, if you scroll down the page a little bit, and you see this how to start a WordPress, blah, blah, WordPress blog on Bluehost in under 20 minutes, you'll see this video here. It'll t it's actually almost 30 minutes now because I added stuff in the middle to show you which plugins to use, how to get good looking photos for free. You want to use stock photos in case you don't have a high quality camera of your own. Uh, there's a free plugin that's in there to show you how to do that and they automatically upload to the blog. So you don't have to have Photoshop, you don't have to resize them, you don't have to do any of that stuff. These are the things that I think are most valuable uh, when it comes to you know, how to start a blog tutorials. 